put these two files on the internal memory of your card. So the way you're going to do that is just plug your phone in. And I suppose you could have done this beforehand. Well, you could have. It would have been fine. Go ahead and plug your phone in. And then just take those two files and drag them and drop them onto the internal memory of your phone. Okay? So that's what we need now is those two files to be on the internal memory of our, of our phone. So I just want to show you real quick. I haven't booted back, but I want to show you that we are on gingerbread here. <clears throat> so there you go. You can see we're on 2.3.5 and get our zombie art here. Yeah, it's still trying to get everything rolling. Okay, so you can see we have we are back um, at gingerbread here. Okay, so with with the steps that I've taken so far, um, I'm ready now to go ahead and flash um, flash my uh, KitKat ROM to this. I didn't say this earlier, but um, if you're on even if you're on a gingerbread ROM, go ahead and flash this gingerbread ROM that I flashed, just so you'll be at a common starting starting point here with me. Okay, so it's what I want to do is um yeah i want to go ahead and turn just turn my phone off again so i'm just going to pull the battery this time instead of booting into download mode i want to down uh, boot back up into my recovery menu so, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hold volume up and down but this time i am going to uh, shoot i am going to push the power button okay hold all three of those till you get to that then continue holding your volume up and down And it'll bring us up into our custom recovery. You can see there how it's uh, this CWM Clockwork Mod based recovery. Okay, so it's what we want to do. First of all, we're going to go install Zip from SD. Choose uh, choose a Zip from SD card. You can see I've kind of got a mess here, but there you go. You can see the CM11 nightly. So I'm going to flash that, and it's what's going to happen is. Um, it's going to flash a different kernel to my phone. And so it's what's going to happen is it's going to reboot back, and you'll see that I don't have that corn kernel on here anymore. <clears throat> It'll say Cyanogen Mod down here. So it's what it did is it's going to update the kernel, which also is going to give us a newer version of Cyanogen Mod. I think with that corn kernel, it was Cyanogen Mod version 5 point something. This is, so you can see, Cyanogen Mod version 6.0.4.5. Okay, so it's going to take a few minutes uh, to do this. And it's what we're going to do is we're going to wipe the phone. We're going to wipe data factory reset, wipe the cache, wipe the Dalvik cache. Then we'll flash the ROM, and then we'll flash the gaps, and then we should be good to go. So uh, this will take just a little bit here, and we'll I'll pick back up whenever it gets through this little process right here. Okay, so you can see how it finished there. It's going to boot back up into Clockwork Mod. <clears throat> Okay, so, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go down here to uh, wipe data factory reset. I'm going to wipe all user data. And I'm going to do this twice. I know people say once you do it once, it's really done. There's nothing for it to do again. But I go ahead and, well, I usually do it three times. But I'm just going to do it twice on this video today. If you want to do it three times, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to wipe data factory reset the second time. Okay, next I'm going to wipe cache partition. I'm going to do that twice. That doesn't take long at all. Then I'm going to go to advanced. And by the way, up and down takes you up and down in the menus, and the power button selects it. So I'm going to go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, and this really doesn't take long. I'm going to do that twice. Okay, then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to install zip, choose zip from SD, and then I'm going to go find... <clears throat> I'm going to go find that Cyanogen Mod version 11 again, that nightly, right there. 
and I'm going to install that and this will usually take I don't know two or three minutes to go through this process okay so it's done with that so I'm gonna to go to choose it from SD card again this time I'm gonna to go to that gaps that we downloaded the very last thing we downloaded so the gaps KK it stands for KitKat 2013 uh, November 19th so I'm gonna flash these gaps um, Google Apps is like your your Gmail uh, Play Store those types of things <clears throat> Okay, so it finished that, so I'm going to go back now and reboot system, <clears throat> and we should boot back up into KitKat. We'll see what happens here. See a new Cyanogen mod splash screen there. Okay, so that initial boot right there takes a while, so don't get impatient with that. Um, I don't know, I didn't time it, but it probably took three or four or five minutes, so it does take a while to get through that. So um, don't get too concerned about that if it takes a while. Okay, um, so I'm just going to skip through all this. I'm trying to stay under my 15-minute YouTube limit here. Just try to... No, 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 no. <clears throat> so you'll probably want... You, well, you will want to set all that up. And I definitely like to use the new Google Experience Launcher. Okay, okay. So I'm trying to rush this and it just barely loaded, so it maybe run a little bit slower than usual. So there you go. Hope you enjoy KitKat. Runs very smooth. And still have the newest operating system on a very old phone. That rocks. Thanks. Have a good day.